CNN had a group that was turning knobs, et cetera, and a group of undecided folks that they wanted to see if the debate did anything to make them make up their mind, et cetera. And I think the group was, I don't know, probably seven, eight people or so. And they, you know, it's actually turned somebody's mind. And I think those people whose minds weren't changed were probably still leaning in the same direction because this guy saw it. Check this out. We'll take it on the other side. We have uh, some reaction from one of the voters in the focus group uh, in Battleground, Michigan, uh, about uh, that moment. Let, let's take a look. Well, I'm going to be voting for Kamala Harris. You know, uh, one of the stark sort of aspects of that debate that really stuck with me was when they were talking about January 6th and how Mike Pence certified the election and they were wondering if J.D. Vance would certify the election should Trump lose. And, you know, J.D. Vance didn't really give us a definitive answer. And I I'm disappointed in that fact. And I don't think that I can trust someone, you know, with my vote if they're not going to respect it. And that that came directly from that last question, right? Uh, I can't trust. Here we go. You cannot, you cannot say Donald Trump lost. You cannot go against Donald Trump. And it tells you exactly who you are. A feeble, weak person. Remember, this is a guy who called Donald Trump little Hitler. This is a guy who called, uh, Donald, said Donald Trump's economic uh, programs didn't work. This is a guy who said Donald Trump was not, was not the populist candidate he, tried, he, he purported to be. This is a guy who, uh, look, I mean, if you see the dossier, you'll see all the crap this guy has spoken about Donald Trump. But Trump made him the guy. Because this guy, Eric, liked this guy. Eric, that's, I'm talking about Donald Trump's son, liked this guy. 